So I'm in Scotland, I'm in Glasgow, and it's kind of a typical rainy day. Although it's it's 18 degrees, so it's really quite warm. I've um I've come to meet my friend Suvi and we've got like a 60 kilometer ride planned today. We're going up to a place called Whiteley Farm, which is like a wind turbine farm basically. And I've been told there's some pretty great gravel trails around the farm. So it should be fun. I've only got my gravel bike with me up in Scotland this week. So I'm trying to do as much gravel riding as I can. And hopefully the rain's gonna stay off. It's been wet literally all morning, but it's dried up now. And hopefully the ground up there isn't too wet. But as always, I'm running a little bit late. So I need to finish getting ready, meet Suvi, and then hopefully we're talking like two and a half hours of riding or something. Because I've got dinner plans that I've got to get back for. I'm gonna try and unpick this stupid lace and get on the road. Morning or afternoon? Afternoon. How are you, Suvi? I'm good. Yeah, thank you. How are you? Thanks for having me in Glasgow and planning another ride that I've done All very right. little work on. <laughs> you have a very nice bike. It is very nice. Yeah, it's much nicer than mine. Let's see. Right. After me saying that nobody needs electronic group sets. Yeah, I thought that as well. It like looks it's great. pointless on gravel, like, oh, who needs that? But now that I've been riding this, I'm like, yeah, it's so, so lovely. We're going to get going and I'm going to switch to the other camera because there's absolutely no way that I'm bringing this. So we're about 10 kilometers into the ride and um, in true Scottish fashion, it's now <laughs> so warm that we're both overheating. <laughs> and we got like rain jackets and everything because it was raining when we left. But now it's like bone dry. It's 10k in and I'm sweating already. But we can't complain because it's way better than rain. Uh, you know too, I know. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like a half road, half gravel ride. So I think we've got like 20 k's of road before we hit any gravel. So I think by this pace, we're just trying to smash it out, get to the gravel, and then we can enjoy ourselves. You can see just over the top of the hill, maybe not, but there's some wind turbines up there, which must be where we're heading. Because Suvi tells me that it's the biggest wind farm in the UK. Onshore, yeah. Onshore, fact of the day. So there's Glasgow in the distance. That's where we just ridden from. But within like 10 kilometers, we were in country lanes. I like this. And the wind farm that we're heading to is over there. We've hit gravel and technically we're in Whiteley now, which is really not as far away from the as I thought it was gonna be. How long? 15k. Not that far really. raining again. The surface is wet now and these tyres don't enjoy the wet so it's going to be a little bit slidey. It's actually very cool riding here. I don't know what it is about the, the wind turbines. I think it's because they're moving above you. Yeah. It feels when you're riding around, I don't know, it just feels like a little bit 
there's some of them that honestly feel like they're going to hit you. Like, I have this scare that one of the blades is going to come off <laughs> and it's going to hit you. It's like a different kind of forest. Just yeah, that's, yeah, that's just definitely... Just turbines, wind, for, wind turbine forest. A different kind of forest, quite like that. Yeah. It started to pour again. You live here, surely you're used to this. I know. I just moan about it. <laughs> I actually love it, but I still just complain about it. So we... Are we like halfway through the gravel bit? Uh, yeah, like, yeah, almost halfway, so... Yeah. You putting the jacket on? I'm gonna try. I think I'm just gonna roast alive, but... <sighs> just, what I don't like about putting my jacket on is it gets all dirty. It gets dirty? And then you can't clean it. Oh, but it's a rain jacket, you don't have to ever clean it. I mean, if it's a, if it's like a shape dry. Some yeah, not all of us have shape dry. <laughs> When you said we could go this way, you didn't really fill me with a lot of confidence. You said on this side. <laughs> oh, the Wahoo is not enjoying this route. Uh, puddle. Yeah. This is my first time I think trying, so I'm not. Confident. Wait a minute! You've just blown my mind. Is that is that what shake dry means? Yeah, yeah, that, that you shake it dry. Yeah, I didn't know that. Oh. I learned that last week so that weird. check, you know, all the models, that they're acronyms of each other. Yeah. Like I'm on the, my own domain. It's all the same Domanic. letters? Yeah, the same letters. Yeah, that's like, that's a double mind blow. <laughs> if you knew about the shape dry or about Trex naming, comment below, because I don't think many people know about that. I definitely did not know. Um, the rain stopped. We're going to take the jacket off. Oh, there's so many midges though, so I'm not going to hang about for very long. So we've been riding around, is it Whiteley? Is that how you say mm -hmm. it? Not Whitley. I, I would say Whiteley. Whiteley. Supposedly, have I got dirt all over my face? There's like loads of trails that you can ride and you can just link them all up. Ooh. I think they say 200k. 200k? Yeah, like you can just ride loops. Like even today, I don't think this was the... I don't, no, I thought this was the route that I always do, but I had clearly routed a path that I don't... I've ridden it but I, it's not the bigger road. So there's a couple of like this fine road and I think Myers Road or something, which are like quite wide, which right. we rode at the end. Yep. And then there's the smaller and smaller and smaller paths that you can take in between those roads. <laughs> I think I'm I think I'm good at navigating, but I'm bad at like route, route planning. Okay. I think I think I used to have a good reputation. Yeah. I ruined it. <laughs> um, yeah, so I think we're now making it up a little bit. Um, the visitor center's up there. There's also electric car charging there. Electric car charging? Mm -hmm. If you've got an electric car, they could drive there, drive here, and then ride the gravel. Charge it with the, with this, uh, exactly. the solar like, panels, <laughs> the, wind, cool. the wind yeah. turbines. I think it's quite cool that they've got, I don't know, just the electricity is produced yeah. here, and then you could charge your car there. Yeah. So if you so if you wanted to then yeah you could drive just to the visitor center park yeah. there and just ride the trails yeah just the loops here but yeah I think we're nearly done with gravel we got downhill back into Glasgow we've just been standing right underneath this and I've only now just looked up and it's actually quite scary it's about to hit you, so close. you just can't see it on the video.
Ski. <laughs> Yeah. Struggle changing it whilst I ride. Just I also try to not crunch it. Just That's a bit of low cadence work. Good, good training. That's what I need. <laughs> so we're back, and that was, I think it was about 55 kilometers, not quite as far as we thought, maybe in the end. The bike is um, looking good, but you've got a ride coming up, don't you? I do. Where are you going this weekend? I'm going to go to Gate House of Fleet, I think is the place and it's Raiders Gravel or Riders Gravel. I've still not figured out. So what, it's a three day? It is three days. It starts on Thursday, but okay. Thursday is kind of like a social thingy. And yeah, three days of riding, 70k, 80k, 60k, something like that. Yeah. So are you going to race it or is it more of a casual? It's not supposed to be raced, but you'll get timed and yeah, so and you'll get to a podium if you do well. So okay, that's the I race. I think it's kind of like yeah. a race. Yeah, so you but think podium on the on the cards? I don't think I will get onto a podium. I wish not with that attitude. No, that's this is my attitude. Like this <laughs> is my like competitive attitude. <laughs> no, I think there's some really really strong riders going. Yeah. So I don't think a podium is in the cards for me. Yeah. But I look forward to it. I've never ridden that in that area, so it should be good. There's like a lot more gravel events, right, popping up. There is a lot more, yeah. Which is great because yeah, then there's the Duke's weekend there in three three weeks time. Or something like that yeah um, which you're doing yes I am and doing. i might be doing maybe yeah hopefully you'll make it but i've got to get this bike in the car i don't really like finishing a ride at the car to be honest i'd rather ride from the house but that is what it is so i'm probably like am i really dirty yeah you are <laughs> I, took, I took a picture of you at the beginning when we were starting and then towards the end so what, well, you've yeah. taken two pictures? Yeah. Well, nice to hang out and maybe see you in a future video. See you. Maybe if sure. the audience wants you to be in another video, they can comment yeah, down. They should do the <laughs> thumbs up and like and subscribe and yes. everything yeah. possible. All right, I'm going to leave this here. Um, I got some dinner plans. So I'll catch you in the next one.